This video is made for mature audiences. Parental discretion is strongly advised. Thank you. Okay. Hey guys, this is Deeker. Uh, a little bit of a side scrolling shoot em up. Instead of, a, um, instead of a ship, you play a B. As you can see, there's plenty of options on here. There's, you know, uh, you can exit the game. Uh, there's advertising this game, unfortunately, which is kind of a bad thing, in my opinion. Like any game that anybody makes where there's a cost to buy the game, I don't think there should be advertisements in there. But unfortunately, this game's got a few of them in there. Um, and then there's the options you go in and set like a couple of things and then uh, yeah, new game and then difficulty settings. We're just going to leave it on normal and we're going to start a new game. And I've, I've played this a little bit, so but I'm going to start off at the beginning. Yeah, Beaker in a nutshell is like this bee hive gets destroyed by a bunch of wasps. And uh, yeah, Beaker is the title character. He's a giant bee that goes around shooting everything. <laughs> so, anyway. Uh, it's controller supported. This is the first game I've actually had to go into my Steam um, cloud set, like the actual Steam settings for a controller, and set that up so it was a little bit strange. Usually games have like in-game uh, controller settings. Uh, what the heck happened? Okay. Uh, the game decided to shut itself down. So there's a little bit of a weird thing. If the game sits long enough, it shuts itself down. Okay, anyway, guys, enjoy. Here we go. And this kind of uses a combination of mouse and this stuff, so. This will start preload. There we go. I thought my controller shut itself off for a second. Yeah, because this game I had to use the um, Steam uh, settings for it, like, the controller acts a little bit weird. And there you saw the queen and their hive was destroyed, so... And then at the end it tells you how many things you killed and gives you, like, a, a score boost. And then this tells you what to do with vertical levels. There's a time limit, and you have to knock out all these things, collect these little pollen bubbles. And... Sort of like, I don't know, this kind of reminds me of like some of the older, like 80s style, like vertical arcade shooters a little bit, except you're collecting these little pollen bubbles. Oh yeah. Whoop. It's a pretty simple, straightforward kind of game. And as you can see, you can power up like your shots. Gets you get more options. They don't get stronger. It just kind of covers more space on the screen, especially on the other end. So you're able to hit more things at once, and, you, and if the shots do hit the same target, like yeah, they will do more damage. Like you can, you basically get like one one point per shot. But and you can see Beaker there. He's got a bandana, and he's got like he's got like uh, aviator glasses on almost. So for a game that was developed for 2000. Yeah, like those wasps there, they're a little bit chunkier. I mean, for a game that was developed in 2014, graphics-wise, it's the graphics are decent. Uh, the gameplay is pretty simple and straightforward. Like, it's they didn't do anything different about the gameplay. It's you know basic one-stick shooter, and it's got like auto auto shooting, so you just have to hold the button down. Oops. I just crashed. And if you crash, it does give you a chance to get your power up back. So there's that was a nice little thing. Um, 
some of the things about this game that bother me a little bit are those little advertisements to show up in the game. And then this grass down here at the bottom is a little disorientating. Uh, even even with shooters that I used to play that had like um, like multiple layered environments, like that's a little weird on the eyeballs. Some of these things do shoot destructible bullets, so you can kind of like... You can shoot through some of the bullets and get rid of them, so there is that. Like some of the bullets you can, some of them you can, so there is, you know, the, I, I like the fact that you can kind of shoot through some of them. Yeah, the tree. Yeah, shooting those big horse flies gives you more of these pollen or honey or whatever it is you're trying to collect. This one seems to take longer for me for some reason. It's like, I guess it's just the way it, it works. It's like, this has got a time limit too, so you have to collect these before the timer runs out. This one pretty much takes you all the way to it. There we go. Yeah, that one almost takes you to through it all. Like, it's a pretty simple, straightforward game. Oh, whoa, hold on. <laughs> Controls are a little bit borky sometimes, so this... And... Hey, game just crashed again. Yeah, this game seems to crash if you if you tab out. So that's a little bit of an annoyance. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> The only downside, this thing doesn't save your progress like a typical shooter, so you have to start over every time you, like, have stuff like that happen, but... Okay, so that was not a problem I was having when I was playing the game earlier. So there's there's definitely a little bit of the game's definitely got a little bit of an issue there with uh, not so it doesn't like to be tabbed out of so like streaming the game. Like I said, this right here is annoying. Like I said, this game this game you actually have to buy, so that's annoying that it puts these weird advertisements in the game. If you notice at the top right, there's like a, a bunch of bees sitting on that hive up there. That's the number of beakers that you have. So you do get quite a few chances. I think it says you get seven. So you do get a lot of lives for a shooter.
So yeah, while I'm playing this game, I'm probably not going to check chat again, guys. So if you do type in something, please forgive me. I will check after the, uh, I will check after the game. Oh, boy. I forgot to kill the wasp down at the bottom, or the yellow jackets down at the bottom before I got too far. Oops. That's the one thing you really have to kind of pay attention to your surroundings in this game. Blessed monster. As, as, as far as like playing the game goes, they say it, it's a simple version of the shooter. There's nothing you know crazy innovative about it, except for the fact that you're playing a bee, and everything is you know based on bees and insects. If you're skittish about insects, though, you might not play, want to play this game. There we go. See, Beaker's next power up is actually getting a back shot. So this is a little bit like, um, this kind of reminded me of playing Gradius a little bit, because if you played uh, Gradius, uh, if you played Gradius 3, I think, yeah, it was Gradius 3, that's when they introduced the back shot, or if you played R-Type, R-Type had the ability to do back shots. So again, like I said, nothing crazy innovative, but... You know, definitely, definitely a nice touch, and you don't need to have options or a special add-on for the back shot. You just have to get the power up, which in some of those other shooter-style games, sometimes you needed a power up to be able to back shot. So I know in Gradius, it was like it was an option for the double shot instead of being able to shoot straight forward. You could just uh, you yeah, see, so like that one right there, you have to use your back shot on. The game does make you pay attention like any shooter, so you really do have to pay attention to what you're doing. Like I said, again, if anybody's in chat, um, I apologize. The, the game kind of crashes if you tab out. It's something I just found out, so I'm kind of not tabbing out until I get dead in the game or something. So if you have anything you needed to say, uh, just leave it in chat. I will see it. And I do appreciate you for being there. And I apologize I can't respond to you right when you type in your message. For anybody who happens to be here right now, I do appreciate you being here. Uh, if you guys wonder what I'm playing, this is a little shooter game called Beaker. Uh, the game was developed in 2014, so it's kind of an old game now. But 
I got a I got a free key for it. You know, it's one of those things that you know with the uh, with the programs I'm a part of. If I get free keys, I have to play them. Uh, it's part of the content creator thing that they have for it. So I figured I'd pick this one up and give it a try since it was offered to me. Um, if you think you like what you see in the game, um, you can pick it up on Steam. It's uh, two dollars, I think. Um, and I, I saw it on sale for like seventy-five cents yesterday. But uh, yeah, you can you can pick up the game for two bucks. Um, you now it's definitely one of those games that if you're a fan of schmup like this. Um, I, mean, I think you'll get some enjoyment out of it. It's not like, like I said, it's not the most innovative. Whoa! whoa. <laughs> Great, the wasp got me. It's not the most innovative game in terms of like schmuck technology. Like, there's nothing. Whoa, whoa, wow, this thing's actually goofy. There's nothing new in like the mechanics or anything. Like, if you play one, you play them all type thing, but I said the. The way it's designed, like instead of like, you know, instead of like spaceships or planes and stuff, it's bees. <laughs> and I just lost all of those. So that, that's a nice difference in the game. It'll help keep your attention a little bit more, I think, because it's not the same thing that you've seen. And so this is a problem in the game, though. I don't think that a paid game should have advertisements like that. If this was a completely free-to-play game, I, I could forgive it. But that's the one thing that's kind of gnawing at me a little bit. Oh. And this is a dexterity section, like, oh! Some, like, Life Force, like, the game Life Force and Gradius, oh crap, I'm going to miss that on time. Uh, they, they were known for, like, some of their crazy dexterity sections. like that so where it just you know everything just gets fast real quick oh yeah it's called interlude be careful these beat ears I don't know if you can actually kill those I don't know if like if you shoot them enough they'll die or not but whoa there's a lot of them there's a lot of them whoa Very short stage, though. They call it interlude for a reason. Flies have gone mad. Recover the Fallen. Alright, it's another one of these kind of stages where you have to pick up all the stuff. It's not like the vertical stage, though. It's just basically like a... You know, you're going for points. Oh, God. Okay, there we go. There's a good... Oh, there's a... I... Nice, I like that one. Alright, so you get a better... Oh, wow, you get another one? Wow, you get a big-time spread shot here. Oh, oh. Whoa! What is this madness? Okay. Whoa, mama. Okay. This is one of these, this is just one of these, like, we're gonna throw everything at you and just try to collect the stuff. This, this is kind of cool, actually. This is not something you normally see in a shooter like this. Whoa. Okay, that was weird. A block, a little bit of a, a block there. Okay. 277 killed. Alright, stage two. Find the brown wasps. Alright, so we killed yellow jackets that time. Now we gotta find the brown wasps. Revenge. We get revenge for our, our queen and colony.
And it's the beaker's power up here now is pretty nice. It's like it's a three. Oh, there's a new. There's like a new monster here. And so beaker's beaker's pretty buff right now. He's got like two out of the back, five out of the front. Nice spread shot. So, oh wow, frog. Apparently the frog's invincible. It's one of those games you just sort of want to keep shooting, even when there's nothing on the screen. If you manage to get something in the in the uh, oh, there's a scorpion. If you manage to get something in the uh, in the big block of three bullets that are coming out, it's, you do get all three hit points out of this. So, so that's the ideal situation to get the big stuff in. Like the side bullets are nice, but you're only getting like one hit point. Uh, it says, is it an actual power-up? Yes. I mean, that's that's the way a lot of these shooters work. Power-ups basically just gave you more bullets so you can do more damage and hit more things. I'm kind of wondering if it, it'll give you more in the back eventually. Whoa, that's a big one. That's a chunky boy. Whoa. A praying mantis. Alright, the Mantis. Okay, I lost one bullet. It didn't give me back the power up for that, so. Again, if you're watching the stream and you know you said something in the chat, I apologize, so I can't tab out of this game. It crashes very easily. If you do, it's an unfortunate design flaw in the game. Oh wow, nice. Now see right here, this is like a real good power up for this area. Because you get like a full screen spread on the verticals. So yeah, that's definitely a nice little touch there. This means that you have to do it faster. There we go. Goodbye. Give me all my points. But yeah, I appreciate anybody who's in chat right now. Like I said, I'm sorry I can't tab over. This is one of these times I wish I had like another screen. Or if I had like a, a smartphone that could actually run my chat properly and I could at least see what you guys are saying. So I apologize. Find the next wasp queen. Now because we've only got one bullet coming off our backside instead of the two that we had, that might hinder us a little bit, but my big thing is I've got the spread out front, so. I'll be able to handle everything that's coming in front of me, which is more important. Like, the, I, I don't, I don't say that you know being able to shoot from the back isn't important, but so far about 99% of the stuff I've had to deal with is coming from the back side of my screen. So I'm in the front side of my screen, so. Yeah, it looks like I'm coming up on the next boss fight by the, the size of those big honey patches. Whoa! I've got a lot of those white things at the bottom which are annoying me, so I'm trying to get rid of many of them as I can. Oh, you can kill the rocks over time. There we go. Whoa! What's shooting at me? Oh, there's one behind the rock. <laughs> okay. 
Alright, me and you, you and me, one on one, mono on mono. That's pretty straightforward. So far the game isn't like too overly difficult. I am playing on normal, so who knows? Maybe there's a harder version. Escape! Another another dexterity level. Oh nice. At least I think it's oh my god. Oh! Okay, there's there's oh boy, there's there's wasps this time. I'm cool, man! Oh, they had to make it a little bit harder somehow. Ah! Whoa! Now that was mean. Yeah, if you're not shooting the whole time, you're gonna die here. Holy moly. Idea what those blue things were. Interlude, careful with meters. Maybe this possibly you can kill him. But oh! We're chunky boys! Ah! Yeah, give me my power back, please. Find the hornets. Oh boy, hornets. That that sounds nasty. Oh, we got a power up. Oh, now we got four of them coming out front. Okay. I see what you're laying down, game. Oh boy, there we go. Yeah, those are hornets. Jeez, they're huge. The big blue hornets. Hey, even the flies are tougher all of a sudden. What the heck? Oh, the... Alright, so everything's a little bit stronger now. Whoa! Bug be gone! Oh, a spider? Okay. Spooter. I'll give them credit, the music is pretty catchy. Oops. I got I beakered myself just now. But yeah, I like the music. It's definitely good for a game like this to have upbeat music like this to keep you going. Alright, the, the environment's getting a little bit more dangerous. Though. Whoa! The bajillion spiders. Yeah, the environment's becoming a little bit more of a hazard than it was in the previous stages, so... That's typical. One of the ways that a shooter like this, where they can upgrade the difficulty, is to introduce more environmental hazards, like make the stage more of a threat. So again, this is a lot of like a, a Gradius type thing here where, you know, Gradius and our type where they're like making the, the level challenge you as much as the extra enemies are challenging you. Oh my god. There's a whole armada here. Okay, yeah, there's a lot more beasties than, than before too. Alright, so the game seems to be like first horizontal stage, vertical stage for like a mini boss, then a hive stage, then uh, a dexterity stage, and like an interlude. It seems to be a repetitive. Um, and it's slowing down, there's something coming. 
seems to be the way this game is designed, so it's a pretty straightforward pattern. No, oh, there we go. This is where all these extra power-ups come in handy. It's like now you can pretty much hit it from a good like this is like a good 55 degree field of fire in front of you. It's like a couple of, of walls. Wow, there's a <laughs> woo! They introduced the whole yeah. I was right. There's a whole army there. Yeah. So after yeah. After I die- whoa, my god. Oh, there's another power-up. Yeah, after I die, like I said, I'll take a look at chat and catch up. If anybody's hanging out, I appreciate you. Like, I'm, I'm sorry I can't tab out of the game. It's the first time I've had a game that tabs out and crashes, so... It's a little bit- it's a little bit frustrating, but... I'm gonna have to deal with it until I get done. Thankfully, I'm not playing this game, like, super long today. But, all right, there we go. Woo! Bye bye. Give me my, give me my pollen. Yeah, so now I'm gonna be in the in the hive stage, I think, or the the stage leading up to the hive. Yep. Find the hornet's nest. Oh boy. Okay, that's not cool. Meander. Yeah, whoa. Okay. So the stage leading up to the Hornets is going to be like one of these giant like Air Force stages. Okay, this is the Air Force stage. <laughs> I call it the Air Force stage, like when they suddenly ramp up the number of critters, the number of targets you have to fight, and they come in like huge swaths like that. Like I said again, this is. It's another like shooter style thing to ramp up the difficulty, just like throw more stuff at you. And make it so it takes more hits. Like all this stuff is taking multiple hits too. So it's not like they're, you know, one shot things. It's like they're taking like two or three shots each. Oh, gotta be careful here. Gotta be careful. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Oh! Scooters! I don't even know if I'm going the right way either. Oh great. See this that right there bothers me though, like using Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Whoa! Um Okay, that was that was tricky. I wasn't expecting that. A little bit of a death trap right there. Maneuverability is good. The, the controller sensitivity is pretty good. Oh my god. Whoa! Hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. No fair with the, the wall. <laughs> Alright, we're slowing down again. Boss be coming. Oh, these hornets have got some weird flight patterns. There we go. There's the door to the nest. Come on. Wow, this is like that scene out of the Matrix when they're fighting all of the uh, the sentinels that are coming out of the the ceiling of Zion. It's like they're shooting it and it's not really doing anything. That's why I feel oh crap. That's why I feel like I'm dealing with right now. I feel like I'm dealing with like a sudden the those swarm coming out of the ceiling of Zion there. It's like I know I'm doing damage, but it doesn't feel like it. 
All right. Hornets. The Hornet Slayer. Oh, boy. Oh. New power-up. Oh, another one. Okay, it's definitely, like... Okay. Ah! Great, I, I butt smacked that one. Oh, another one. Oh, wow, look at this. Finally, a real angled shot. The only thing that can make this better is if the back shot starts doing that. So yeah, the power-ups are definitely, like, expanding your range. Obviously, your forward fire is going to be the best, no matter what, but... That's really helpful right there. And I'm getting, what, three in the back now? Yeah. I'm getting three in the back, and I don't know how many in the front. It looks like about nine. Plus the two... Going on the ang up the up angles. Okay, there, that's a little bit of a death trap right there. Kind of reach, kind of reach back. I mean, for a game that was made in 2014, I mean, it's not a horrible game. I just, and I just wish that the thing didn't have those bloody advertisements in it and it didn't crash when you tapped out of it. And it seems to crash if you sit too long on the screen at the start, too, which is kind of annoying, but... It might have been back at the time this thing was developed, maybe, you know... You know, it wasn't, it wasn't a game that they expected people to stream. I mean, it was 2014. But even still making a YouTube video of this would have been a little bit annoying with that with, with that um, little crash thing going. And for, for those of you who never played a game like that before, there was there was games way back in the 90s and the early 2000s where they had this thing called Shareware, which um, you could get a game and play it free, like, part of it, or freeware, but they would put advertisements in it to cover the cost of the game. Oh, here comes the boss. There's a lot of, oh, there's a whole lot of pollen here. I wonder if this might be the final boss. Oh! Okay. Oh my god, look at the size of that thing! Whoa! Okay, that thing's huge. I'm watching the bullets more than I'm watching the boss. I mean, I, the boss is big enough, I can see it on my peripheral, but holy crap. That's a lot of, that's a lot of bug right there. That's a lot of boss right there. <laughs> Things that took up like a good quarter of the screen by itself. Oh, come on, really? Alright, dexterity. I'm gonna shoot because last time they started throwing monsters at me, so I'm starting to. Whoa! Oh my god! What in the hell? Ah! Okay, I'm all for dexterity levels, but what the heck? Oh my god. Oh, jeez. My reaction time is not fast enough for this. Oh god. 
god. And it's worse because you can hardly see what's going on. Whoa. <laughs> Crap. That was nuts. That was hyperdrive right there. That's one way to make those more difficult. Oh, did we do it? You have avenged them. Well done. Oh, cool. So yeah, there we go. That's, that's Beaker on normal mode anyway, guys. I didn't expect to beat it. The, when I was playing it the first couple times, I wasn't like, I wasn't getting past the, um, I wasn't getting past the second stage, so. So yeah, I mean, for however long I played that through, I mean, you can play it one time, get to the end of it, and then go play a harder, the harder version of it. Um, there's a harder mode, I think, an arcade mode or something like that, so. Like I said, the game itself isn't bad. Like I, said, I, I like the I like the gameplay. You know, it's one of those score-driven games so at the bottom. You can't see it because of my portraits there. But it says high score 707,318, so I mean, it's one of those score-driven games. Um, yeah, I mean, the concept's nice. Uh, you know, based on a game made in 2014, I mean, it, it wasn't badly done. They say, I just wish, you know, the crash problem didn't happen with me tabbing out of the game and, uh... I wish I didn't have all the bloody advertisements in the game. That's, like, really super annoying. But... But it's two bucks on Steam if you guys want to pick it up. It's not like... Like I say, as you can see, I went through the whole... I went through the whole game and I didn't expect to beat it, but... <laughs> Difficulty logic by too hard. <laughs> But yeah, there's a there's a there's a there's another difficulty mode you can play if that felt too easy to you. So but yeah, like I said, Steam it's like a dollar ninety nine. I think it was on sale for seventy five cents because of like the promotions or whatever. So you might be able to pick it up on the cheap. Or, um, I said it's it's one of those games I feel like you know it's good to play when you just need something to take a break from everything else you're playing, or you just need something that's not going to take too long, you play through it a couple times, and then, you know, go do something else afterwards, so, I mean, for two bucks, I mean, I can, I, I can, I can see somebody putting 10, 20 hours into the game, just playing it on and off, so, you know, just pick it up one time, play it, and be like, okay, well, I didn't get this far last time, let me get my uh, high score, let me beat my high score, etc., etc., I'm just letting the credits play out. I just want to see if there's anything. Um, yeah, I mean, the the design, like I said, the design, the controls, everything else is good. I just, like I said, just those couple of things that are a little quirky about the game. And then the awards that they won. So, yeah, the... Developers out of uh, Spain, I guess. And it tells you like what kind of uh, stuff they use to make the game in other spots. <laughs> That's nice. Special thanks to Dracula. Say what? <laughs> There's actually a dude in the world named with his last name of Dracula. That's awesome. Check out the new levels of difficulty added. There are six in total. Oh. There's one more thing. Kill that frog. What? You can kill the frog? Okay. Hey, you got the high score. Three, oh, three million, seven hundred million dollars. Okay. Or nine million, whatever. Hey, right, so yeah. Okay, right, so apparently there's a new difficulty. Yeah, arcade bullet hell, bullet hell, expert, easy, normal, arcade, bullet hell, and expert. Okay, so there's some new stuff. Alright. So yeah, I mean, there's, there's some replayability in the game, so I'm going to go ahead and close the game out. Hope you all enjoyed that.